All right, so I did uh, the hard work already. Uh, I'm getting my new bench out. So I'm going to have a little fun, get rid of some of these uh, projects. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to start with these guys. I'm going to get all the silver off of these keyboard inserts. And then I've got some silver coated copper that I will uh, introduce after to make sure that we utilize all the nitric. So there is some I think there's some hydrochloric acid that got on these. Um, so we're going to see some silver chloride form right off the bat. But before I get into any uh, dissolving, I'm just going to prep my station. Uh, I'm going to fill up my beaker, get my hot plate warmed up, the solution warmed up. Uh, I'm going to come back down here with my mask and some long sleeves because I have to basically dip one in at a time um, so I don't want to do that here and let it you know be cold and we can just wait till the solutions hot so I don't have to sit there for a while I'm gonna to try to keep this as potent as possible so I'm just gonna do 200 milliliters of distilled water and we're gonna go with a hundred milliliters of nitric acid now I'm kind of contemplating if I need to do more so that I can make sure that these are completely I figure if I do one at a time I'll be all right so go ahead put that on the I gotta get used to everything because so everything's moved on me now I'm go like that I'm gonna turn uh, my hot plate up we go three three and a half actually I think that's where we'll start and then I want a bucket I got more that I did before I made that video of um, I'm gonna make sure that this is here so I can put them directly in our bucket because they're probably gonna contain some silver nitrate when I take it back out of solution so I'm not going to throw these out right away what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rinse them with uh, tap water and then all the silver nitrate that's left on here will turn into silver chloride <clears throat> fall down to the bottom of the bucket I'll then collect it and put that in my silver chloride jar all right I'm uh, all masked up, got my goggles on, and my keeper, and my, uh, my gloves. Look at that. And we're going to just set that in there. No reaction. So this is what I wanted to happen in my last video. With the silver plate. 
but I diluted it too much. You can see Let's see here, I'm gonna go Alright, so that's what I'm going to do with the rest of this pile. I'm going to pause it so you don't have to watch all of this. Uh, get you back in when I introduce the uh, silver plated material. Alright, down to my last two. So, I found that you can, once they get warm, they, they turn pretty malleable. So, you can put three or four of them in. This is a, a thousand milliliter beaker. So I was able to successfully do like three or four. Five gets a little much. Uh, you need a little more fluid. So by the time this has ev evaporated, I'm down to 200 milliliters of water total. Well, of solution total. And like I said before, some of it's being carried away too. So uh, I'm gonna give this a rinse. It's some um, tap water, rinse off. Uh, or I'm probably going to dunk them individually in tap water so that the uh, silver chloride kind of falls off of them into the water. Uh, I feel like if I just fill this up, I feel like if I just fill that up, it's going to be a pain in the rear to get all the silver chloride to the bottom. So... I'm going to go ahead and start putting this uh, silver in. Or the silver coated stuff in. Slow down, I'm getting a pretty heavy reaction right now.
The bubbles are about uh, halfway up the beaker. They're sitting right at 500 milliliter mark. When they stop to drop, I will uh, begin putting more uh, material in. Still got a pretty vigorous reaction. Still sitting at that 500 milliliter mark. It's not rising, so I'm not worried about it. But like I said, I'm not going to add any more until uh, it starts to come down. Go ahead and put my bucket away. What I really need is, uh, I need a silver tester to verify if stuff is actually silver or not. Like this right here. I'm not too sure. It does, it kind of has the color, but not really. It doesn't have that, like, nice yellow to it. Like a tarnish. It's not aluminum, I can tell you that. It's, it's definitely, it's dense. So I know it's copper or brass under there, but I'm just not sure what it's plated with. Like these, when I burn them, they start to turn that Like that I know is silver just by looking at it. That right there I know is silver just by looking at it. Alright, we're coming down a little bit. I think I'm going to introduce some more. See if it goes up anymore. I don't think it will. No, I don't see any. Go ahead, load it up. And then I'm just going to put a little distilled water in there. It'll slow the uh, reaction down. Let that heat up a little bit more. And uh, when that reaction starts back up, I will start recording again. All right, so I just added uh, 50 more milliliters of nitric acid. Starting to get some, starting to get a reaction now. camera angle. So since I added the 50 more, we got a really nice reaction coming.
194, 200 degrees. Alright, I'm going to let this sit. I'll come back when the reaction's done. Alright, so the reaction slowed down. What I'm going to do is add uh, a little more nitric. I'm going to do it very slowly. Make sure we don't get a boil over. That was a little much. Oh, okay. Still doing all right. What I should have done is made sure uh, I don't see any silver on there, so that's good. That's good. Nice and clean. So is that. Was that? Let's say that's good, clean. So that's good. bit left down the bottom there. So that would be good to go. I would say, oh, there's one little piece left. That's it. 
Rinse these guys off of there. nitric acid that uh, still in solution here is actually cementing out the silver that's on this plate or cementing yeah cementing silver out on this plate I don't know if you can see that in the video very little bit amount So these are the questionable ones. What are they? So if it's zinc, it's going to drop out the copper. Well, if that's the case, then we're going to have to add some more nitric to dissolve what's, what copper has been cemented. Well, it'll also uh, cement out the silver. So let's do one of these at a time. vigorous reaction. Just watch for the color start to turn brown. That'll give us a decent indication. Well with how thin that was I'm gonna say that was uh, silver. Same thing with this. This is what I wanted to do yesterday, but my, like I said, my solution was too, uh, too diluted. I'm going to say this was silver as well. zinc actually
see we've got uh, a little bit more cement and silver. So I know for a fact we're going to have more nitric acid in solution on that. They're still a pretty decent sized Well, I do have the clipped ends off of those relays I did yesterday. We can see if these are gold. Let's go ahead and throw those in there. Well, my guess is that those are actually going to be gold. So we don't have a big reaction going on right now. If that was brass, it would be a pretty pretty decent sized reaction. Um, because the gold plate is protecting the rest of the, the material from dissolving, except for the very, very tiny end that I, I basically cut off. So that's where it's trying to eat through. So uh, that's going to take a little while to dissolve those out uh, but when I go to pour this off in reality we should have five little hollow uh, gold foils in there so I will uh, stop the video here I'll get this go I'll see if I can go find a couple more things to dissolve in there and we'll go from there I am really glad that I went back for those because those are gold plated. Let me take this off. Top off here. My reaction is done, so I don't have my mask on. Put my gloves on. I believe I still see some solids down at the bottom. Yep, so we still got solids at the bottom. So I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say this is a wrap. going to quick take the coffee filter out. Just so that I can separate the gold flakes. Go ahead, put a new coffee filter in. I still have the old fil uh, filter from yesterday's video. Well, probably by the time I get this one out, two days video ago. But I am going to moisten it. out so I can drain our uh, copper nitrate solution. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my waste pocket. Vacuum. 
and I'm gonna have to move you guys. And we're gonna go with a little different view here. Filter out our solution. See our gold flakes? I'm really glad we did that. Copper in there still left, so I know that all of our nitric was used. So that's good. Ran out of distilled water. Let me fill this bad boy back up. You know how it goes. I suppose I could have prepped it, but that looked too professional, right? And like I said, we, we're going to have a little bit of silver chloride in there. Um, there was some hydrochloric acid on those. Uh, those key bar. is not cooperating so we're going in manually there we go the gloves are for right let's set that in there with the rest of the gold foils so I just ordered a bunch of stuff too I got uh, another beaker another flask another Buckner funnel what I plan on doing is having a set for hydrochloric solutions and one for nitric solutions so that I don't have to rinse as much. I also ordered a couple smaller beakers too for instead of dumping it in right from the uh, nitric bottle I'll be able to pour it into the smaller beaker all right just about done filtering here take the anode out. Well, what's left of it. There's the leak. And uh, surprisingly, I was thinking that 
um, the acid was going to do some damage to this. And um, this is just some flooring that I had left over. But it's actually nice and easy to clean up. Wipes right off of there. Just keep using these rags and then when they get full full I'll uh, throw them in the filter bin. Just about done filtering. I'm going to show you. Look at all those uh, gold foils. Those relays are really nice. They got a lot of silver in them and a lot of gold. So I'll have a gold, and I've done a lot of silver lately. Um, it's much, much more common in my field. Um, I deal with a lot of different switches. So what I will do is I have another batch brewed up of gold. So I'll do another gold refining video here soon. I'm sure the, the silver is getting a little boring. But you can't go wrong with silver. Silver is good, you know. Got to appreciate the underdog. That's uh, that's what America's all about, right? Or is that what losers say? Wow. <laughs> We're just about done with our uh, filter. And by the looks of it, I believe I'm going to run it through one more time. It's not quite crystal clear yet. So. Go ahead, pop this out. Put the vacuum back up. It's a little sticky. Let's just moisten that up a little bit. Just slide it around. There it goes. And we're going to do the same thing here, too. Get that a little wet so we can get a good seal. It's a pretty thick solution.
See how crystal clear that is now. That's what we're looking for. Well, you don't have to watch this filter. It's going to take some time. Um, when it's done filtering, I will go ahead and take you to the cementation process. Well, we're still uh, still filtering, but we can see how clear that that solution is now. got a little bit of cement silver not a whole lot out of there I don't know if it was worth the effort of cracking all of those keyboards open for for the amount that's in here that took a while yeah that took uh, that took quite some time and I don't see a lot in there now there could still be some left um, on the sheets themselves, I haven't, I haven't gone after the silver chloride yet. But uh, even if there's the same amount in silver chloride, I would have to say I don't think I'm gonna go for the keyboards anymore. At least, you know, if I have one extra or something, or find one, I'm not gonna not take it, but. I don't think I would pursue them anymore. So I'm just gonna grab those uh, copper pieces out of solution here. No reaction left. Kind of stir them around in the solution before I pull off just to make sure if there's any stuck silver to the pieces that we're not uh, not pulling any out. Got a glove full of uh, copper nitrate. Yeah, not impressed with that batch. Well, you can't win them all, though. So a little bit of silver left there, 
and uh, more gold flakes. filter got a new place for my hose little hook uh, one for my funnel and one for my siphon hose. One thing I don't like about that vacuum is the on and off switch is like a mile away. So it's like just perfect amount to sit the back side of the um, the back side of the bench. So I got to lean all the way over. I suppose there's uh, bigger things to gripe about, but just in case you guys are in the market for a cheaper vacuum pump that's uh, that's my gripe about that all right hand poured in, in the filter Yeah, not a whole lot. I don't think I'm going to even melt that up in this video. It's probably less than a gram. What I will do is save that. And then uh, I'll include it with the next batch. Like I said, I don't think that is worth going after but what do we say it all adds up Going to a Shinedown concert Saturday, so I won't have a lot of time this weekend. I gotta do a little bit of a morning shift tomorrow, too. But I do want to start a gold refining video. Um, I've got, got enough for that. And today work, I found a couple of uh, goodies, well, just one, but, so those are silver sockets, and then, that's still off, awesome, there's three little gold pins in there, well, uh, contacts, so I'll go ahead and cut those out and utilize those too. Well, I appreciate you watching the video. If there's any improvements that I can make or if there's anything specific you'd like to see, please let me know. See if I can get my hands on it. Uh, I just ordered 30 grams of pins 
for a little experiment there off of eBay. Um, I'll go over the pricing, all that stuff, and the breakdown during that video. But I just want to let you know that uh, that's in the works. I think that's supposed to be here Monday. So I imagine sometime late next week I'll get that video out. Hopefully, uh, in the meantime, find some more gold. That'd be perfect. Um, gold relays, silver relays. Uh, I just diagnosed a board today. Actually, it's got a lot of gold on it, so we can uh, we'll go through that too. I gotta order it yet, and I think it's coming directly from Japan. So, but it's about <laughs> this big. No, it's like uh, 14 inches long by 8 inches wide, and it's a uh, it's got two boards on it. So there's like they're they're offset to each other, and one's just a little board, but it is packed from top to bottom. I'm almost thinking that the uh, the entire thing is gold underneath the uh, that film. So we'll find out once I get it ordered up and once I get it swapped. Thanks again for watching.